welcome back to MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. If you're on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe. If uh, you tuned in last time, you saw us totally, totally hand it to the Padres in the bottom of the ninth. Spoiler alert, but you should have tuned in for the last episode if you're... <laughs> you know what? It's okay, because you'll see some good baseball again today. I guarantee it. We're only W's. Only dubs. Only dubs. Here we go. Hello, baseball fans. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the show. All right. And it's double XP weekend as well, so I'm excited about that. Uh, uh, okay, let's go. Um, I was going to make some trades, maybe. Oh, yeah. I, I remember why I was hesitant to go right into franchises, because I was going to touch up the stadium a little bit. Um, so it won't. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I didn't mean to... <sighs> no, get out of here. I wanted to go to Taco Bell Field, not to Doriel Park. Here I am, so it's not going to take that long. Okay. Taco Bell Field, let's go. Alright, pro mode, and let's go in. Because I noticed we're at 96% instead of like 99%. So I was thinking about maybe adding some more dinos. Or another scoreboard, uh, or maybe swapping out a building, add in some more stuff over here, I don't know. Oh, you know what, I was thinking about switching this, and this, the locations. Shouldn't have messed with it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Um, this I wanted to lower a little bit because it doesn't even work. I guess I could remove it if it doesn't work, but for now I'm going to lower it. Because I don't think it'll add a bunch of... Uh, Uh-oh. There we go. And then... All right. Cool, cool, cool. 
Um, yeah, I feel like more dinos is the answer. <laughs> Or something, you know. Second pool, maybe? about pools in Vegas. Hmm, has a stand, okay. Um sorry, I'm trying to make this quick here. Uh scoreboard. If I can fit one. Oh. Where is my nearest scoreboard? I need to analyze. Okay, I have that one, but I don't really see it all the time. But it has our lineup and the thing and the thing. Okay, this one just has the current lineup. Okay. And then they're both like medium big. And then this one's all the way in right. This one's in a weird spot.
pitching matchup one. Alright, 97%. I think we can still add some more dinos, or some grass maybe? Um, hmm. What kind of signs we got? Maybe we could put a sign over here. No, right in front of people? That doesn't make much sense. No patio area? Aloha Jones? Directly into the pool? Poolside service? Aloha Jones? Ooh. Oh man, I kind of like it, right? Yeah, you can walk down the aisle right in here. It looks tight, but, you know, you're fine. Wow, yeah, I like it a lot, actually. Uh, I just wish it had people populated in, like, the pool and chairs, but, you know. It also provides some protection from people from the dinos, except for those people, but... Yeah, it's like little touches like that that I think add like a lot. But I might rather Aloha Jones. I don't know anymore. I would add more Velociraptors, but I just don't like that they're synced.
perfect. Perfect the mundo. All right, let's get out of here and let's go play some baseball. Safe changes. Yes, to the vault. Exit. Let's reload it in here, give it the benefit of the doubt. Oh, this is the original one I built. Yeah, it didn't turn out the way I loved it, so... Here we are. I think that scoreboard over there, I like it. I like it. And I like the shortened wall. It was good touches, I think. Good touches. Mid-season, though, doesn't make sense, but you know what? It's our first stadium, so... We did it while we were on this road stretch, okay? Oh no, I already played this game. Ah, oh, bummer. What the heck, it didn't save it. Rude. So rude. So, so rude. We're going to Miami. Or should we go to New York? We're going to Miami. Twenty and eight, yo. Luke Weaver's hot, love to see it. You know what? I was gonna do one more thing. I'm so sorry to Carson Kelly. And Tim LaCastro. Well Tim LaCastro I'm probably keeping, but Carson Kelly in particular, I'm like, bruh. So I think I can do something for Estrubal Cabrera. And Carson Kelly. Or, you know what, I'll keep Carson Kelly maybe as a backup and then this guy can go because I don't even know who that guy is. So...
289, 8. Hmm. Here's the thing though, is I really want Gavin Lux. Because I had him before and he turned out to be really good for me. Um, and he's only 23. I could steal him now. So actually, let's do that. Um, looks like they need to... They're not sold yet, so Gavin Lux... Will Smith, okay. Okay... Hmm, looks like they don't want the catcher, which is fine with me. And then... Is this guy? You want this guy? Yeah. They're more interested in that guy. What about that guy? I hate to do it to Cattell, but... Kevin Lux. Twenty-three, so much potential right here. Where is this potential? Problem is, I don't know if I like Will Smith as the catcher, though. As I don't know if I want him as my catcher. So I guess the question is, is Gavin Lux ready to start at second base right now? Hmm. Or I guess the question is, how can I get their interest up without... Hmm. All right. Cool. We'll call it a deal.
<laughs> Love it. <laughs> Too much. Ooh, perfect. by me. Seventy three power, fifty four versus seventy power, forty eight. Yeah, Carson's against left, and then who's this in seven? Second base? No, DH. Okay, DH versus left. Ooh. Oh, but then. Hmm. Yeah, Josh Rojas is going to be the DH versus left. And then versus right. DH is going to be... it's going to have to be Gavin. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send Gavin down to AAA. So that he can grow. By next season. So who should be our right-handed DH? That is the question. Power versus right. That sounds good to me. Whoever that guy is. So 62 is the score to beat for power. But Josh Rojas is more important to put in there because I also want him to grow. 
I almost put him in AAA as well. Maybe I just should. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. That guy looks like he has great potential. Not 60 potential. And by the way, Mike Trout is way more accurate than they're giving him credit for in his throwing accuracy. So we'll add one to the bullpen, I think. And who better than this guy? Josh Rojas, we also need to be starting. Ooh. We'll have him play center down here in AAA. Alright, and I actually want to play one game in AAA, so let's go ahead and do that, because I want to play here at the cornfield.
All right, let's go. To the cornfield. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Today, game two of this four-game set between the Tacoma Rainiers and the Reno Aces. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Reno Aces. Love it. And it's Nevada, too. Love it, love it, love it, love Roberto it. Roberto Mejia will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He's strong. All right, you know what? Since it's AAA, this will be the time where we try out pinpoint pitching. together a solid season up to this point era in the low twos and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of this is high first time scoring games and pitching. home runs and teams filled with guys that can hit throughout the lineup this is a really good pitcher 405 the 1 0 and now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon <laughs> not that pinpoint our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. Real. Up and in. Big danger now. It's 3-0. and oh. Yeah, a little wild here early on. Doesn't look like he's totally settled into the game yet. Hopefully, he can find it soon. And that one misses as well. So it's a poor start here this afternoon as it's a four-pitch walk to get things going. Dom Thompson-Williams is at the plate as he looks at ball one. And he takes a cold strike one. Let's go. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work First in the upper part of the pitching. strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. That's lifted the other That's... way out to left. Oh, and it falls as he can't make the play. Oh, come on, Seth Beer. And I think that may have been a situation where the run run That's first no way was to get waiting promoted. to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold it third. Can't really fault him for that, though. At the plate now, Joe Dietrich, hey. as the first pitch to him is in there for a called oh, strike no. one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Fouled off. Marte at third. Thompson Williams stands at second. No outs. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Boy, there's nothing better from All a right. pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box now, Julio Rodriguez. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. We'll see if he can deliver here. Runner still at second and third with one away one now. Ball, one and a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Popped him up. And he will make the catch back there as they're a step closer to getting out of this with two away now. Batting fifth. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Dero, what's your take on this team today? Well, Maddie, this is a team that likes to swing the bat. They're in the bottom third in the league in walks. They're very aggressive at the plate. The look for this pitcher to nickel and dime a little bit. Does not have to come over the heart of the plate. See if he gets a little swing and miss. Oh, no. This lineup has to adjust itself and grind out some more at bats. Yeah. Taken, but called a strike. Hey, that was a big pitch right there. You fall behind 2-0, you give this hitter count leverage. He probably tries to ambush a fastball. 1-1 one, one count, he's got to really think through this and have a great game plan. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Runners at second and third with two gone. And the fastball sails on him, and that gets away. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now, 3-2. and two. And he takes no, ball, ball four. Take so break. now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. So Not here sure. is Brian O'Keefe. He's ready for Brian. his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 0. 
And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. Holiday is right, there as go. he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Frustration boiling over with an opportunity missed. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the... Ian McKinney, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan, any thoughts? Well, Matt, you hate to go into game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen involved, but you may have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep in the games. Very rarely does he go six innings or more, so this very well could be one of those Johnny Holstaff Perfect. days. Into the box, Josh the Rojas. Aces. He'll lead things the off here in the bottom half of the first. Josh. Johnny Holstaff. Rojas. Pitch on the way. Ball, that's upstairs. Dan Dero, as we take a look at our right. visiting club as Thank they you. take the field in this scoreless ball game. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate. Working the ball to all gaps. Line to line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. And there's one away. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Well, Matty, the old cliche goes, battlers, grinders. I know it gets old saying that, but that's the exact description of what this lineup presents today to the opposing pitcher. They do not strike out. He is going to have to grind. He is going to have to keep the ball in the ballpark, and his defense is going to have to be on point. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. One home run and six RBIs. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. McKinney has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake-bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. The left fielder. Now at the plate, here is Seth Beer. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he gets there, makes the running play, yeah. and that ends the... So now to the plate, Jose Godoy took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Hit hard on the ground to second. Scooped up on to first, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And when you talk about third base, you talk about a step and a dive. But you better have something to go with it when you get to your knees. And that's what this guy has, an absolute howitzer. The batter will be Taylor Trammell. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun, it's one and one. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Nope. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. So the next to bat will be David Masters. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. One and oh the count. Not close. It's 2-0. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay I think sharp. I'm starting to get the you hang. don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if two, you can help it. Starting to get the hang of pinpoint pinching. And the pitch on bit. two and one. And it's fouled away. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error go. as this side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. Excuse me, why is Gavin Lux not? Now at the plate, um, Gavin Lux animated. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The second baseman, Gavin Lux. 
Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Hit softly on the ground to first, right to him. And he'll step oh. on first himself for the out. Batting fifth. The third base. Now to bat, Michael De La Cruz. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box. Digging in will be Noel V. Marte. Worked a walk his first time up. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Down the left field line. Around first. He's digging for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base. All right, well, this was cool, but um, I'm going to go back to the Wizards now. I didn't want to play the whole nine innings in the cornfield. It's kind of, I don't know, quiet. <laughs> Just wanted to see Gavin Lux and uh, Josh Rojas. Seth Beer, I was, you know, willing to do a shot. And also, you know what? It turned out to be a good, a good chance to try out pinpoint pitching. Just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the So, yeah, we're going to go into some Wizards baseball in a second. And uh, we'll try out pinpoint pitching in the pros. In Miami, of all places. Oh, DH. Um, let's go with Carson Kelly. Actually, this guy's better against right. Carson Kelly for this one, though. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Under the lights Hope you're enjoying the show. Set for another edition of baseball on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Wizards and the Miami Marlins. It's Marlins baseball, and it comes your way next. Ross Detweiler is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Marlins. 
Dan any thoughts five point hey, one of the nine strengths of this guy is handling right handed hitters right handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy so he's doing a lot of things right when the right handers step into the batter's box so stepping in is Mookie Betts and we are set for baseball here this evening the right fielder Mookie Betts. First pitch on its way. Hit hard up the middle. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. That was a nasty sinker right there. So much better Sometimes the you get a little luck on the offensive <laughs> side. Definite ground ball with eyes right there. So much easier to hit. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Pitch inside the throw. Right on the Please. money, and he's cut down oh. trying to take second base. Well, he tried to turn a single into a double by stealing second on the first pitch, but they were ready for it. Good catch and throw from behind the plate, and it's like that base hit never happened. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and hammered. Let's no doubt go. About this one. Watch it fly. And this ball is gone. No chance Dang. to make a play on that one. Wish Mookie was on first. <laughs> so a solo shot here to left center field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And that will break the seal early here. It's quickly one to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that. And they take the lead. Hell yeah. Just listen to the crack of the bat. That is third. The center fielder, number 27. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing and one. Guys, this Marlins ball club, as they begin play here tonight, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, I hope these guys were listening today during the hitters' meeting because they have not been swinging the bats well. They only scored one run in the loss yesterday, and somewhere along the line, this offense has to execute at a higher level if this team's going to compete. This one also hit deep to Last left field. Thing. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. Bingo. It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout. Number 11 for him on the season as it's now a 2 nothing ball game. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. I'm going to need it, though, because I'm going to be using pinpoint pitching. Here's Nolan I'm going to totally Big swing, but he screw just up Luke Weaver's ERA. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Comes set with the 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. He swings and crushes it. Oh my, there is no doubt about this one. And they've done it again. Back to back to back home runs. Let's go. Nolan Arenado touches them all. Career number 247 as it's now a 3 nothing ball game. That is big. The second baseman. Cattell. And that'll bring in the middle infielder Cattell Marte as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Three runs already home here. And he falls behind 0 and 2.
And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. That's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. So here's Pete Alonzo. Slow bouncer to the right side. He'll come in here at 263. Nine homers, 18 driven in. High and deep to right center. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So they get three runs here, all coming via solo home runs. On now to the bottom of inning number one. To nothing. And now in the box. Sorry, Luke Weaver. R.I.P. your ERA. His home and road splits so far this year. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count, 0-1. Here it comes. One and one. And guys, you take a look at our visitors here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Maddie, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. The next one two pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. It's always nice right. to keep a guy that has good wheels off that base, and that's just what the they did right there. Big strikeout, Garrett. keep that guy off the base Cooper. path. And that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And you see that average below the dreaded Garrett Mendoza Cooper's line. Garrett played for me before, too. Heading out towards shallow right. Betts will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Batting third. The center fielder. Next to hit Starling. is Starling Marte. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first. Fastball in there for a called strike. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 0, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. A ball and two strikes now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Lo Castro is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail in this one, three nothing. And now Carson Kelly, he'll get us started in the top of the second. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it. Here's a swing and a long Let's drive go. high in the air and deep to center field. Gone to lead off the inning. I decided to swing for it since I knew he was stronger and left-handed. So a solo than, shot uh, here Will to Smith. left center field. Fourth home run for him on the season so. as they move on top four to nothing. <laughs> worked out. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Matty V, Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. They're missing over the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. In the hitters meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys could miss middle, and that's exactly what's happening. Tim LoCastro stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Shot down the line. It's a fair ball. He takes the turn and he's heads got for two second. At least. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. And he can score from second, this guy's so as much as I want to steal third right now. To be so far this year, but you Don't never know to. by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. 
Standing in now, Luke Weaver. And he'll try to get that runner to third, but this one gets fouled. Oh, and one count and the pitch. One attempt misses. The throw down. And he's safe. Let's go. Hey, if you want to steal third off a catcher that has a good arm like this guy, you have to make sure you get a great jump. And he did just that. And it's safely into third. And now a late bunt attempt here with two strikes. But this is going to be a foul ball. So he becomes a strikeout victim. Up next, Mookie Betts. He singled to open up the ball game. Not an easy thing to do when you're in the leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat, an opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. I know a lot of people weren't sure what this guy was going to become, but he has blossomed into one of the superstars in the game. What an absolute steal coming out of the middle rounds. Castro takes his lead at third with one away. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got Ooh. him pretty good. And I'll tell you, this is the last guy in the lineup you want to put on base for free. He's probably feeling a little salty after getting drilled, and he's got speed to burn, so look for him to try and make something happen out there. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Pitches a ball. And they'll tag him out after the break from third. And I'm not sure. I did not mean to send both runners. Not, but something certainly went wrong there. Now a spin and a throw back to second. And he just manages to get his hand in. On the ground to the left side. Oh, he makes the stop. Hey, now. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us wow. to break. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. I thought I was going to tag him for a second. So here's the cleanup hitter, Adam Duvall. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Tried to hold up there as the appeal goes to Ricky Holiday at first. And Holiday says he offered at it, so that's strike one. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? High and uh -oh. deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And gone. An absolute bomb. <laughs> Adam Duvall leaves the yard with a solo shot. Home run number five on the year. As they get on the board, it's four to one now. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Corey Dickerson is at the plate here as he quickly finds Dickerson. himself down a strike. It's 0-1. He's got that batting average even at a point where even a one for five will gain him some points. Four home runs and 17 RBIs. Got him. Three. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Brian Anderson comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. And he buys himself another pitch as this is fouled away to keep it at 0-2. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. 
Looked like a breaking ball that time, but it never came back down. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And this is lined hard to deep left. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. And he's going to get there after a long run as he gloves it for the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Isan Diaz is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Trout has a read on it, and that will end the inning. Let's go. But not before they answer back here with a solo home run. We've played two. It's now a 4-1 game. I guess I'm good enough at pinpoint pitching, at least for now. But good thing I have the dynamic difficulty on. But And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Well, Maddie, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed, but stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. Counts even to Trout one and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0 2, he's almost certainly out. 1 1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here comes the 1 2. Fouled away. The one and two pitch. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. Swing and a soft liner towards first. A leaping right. try but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way even though that was a soft liner finding a way to get hits. Yeah he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel but even his soft liners fall. Dan he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball. Player. At the plate Cattell Marte as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Comes set and the 0 1. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. A swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly to second for one and an offline throw. He puts the tag on for route number three. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Las Vegas is out in front here 4 to 1. Leading off the inning, it'll be Ross Detweiler, and they could use a spark from him here. A called strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. A ball and two strikes. Basic pitching right there. 0-2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. Hit the other way out toward right field. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in, John Birdie. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Alonzo has room in foul territory. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, first baseman. Next Garrett. up is Garrett Cooper. Garrett. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Popped up. Tatis shading to his right. And he makes the play to end the inning. Miami down in order. They trail it 4 to 1. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fouled off. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Ball one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes and it's fouled away. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Marte going back, still going back. Gone! Hell yeah. So a solo shot here to left center field, number 10 for him on the year as they stretch the lead to 5 1. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty V. How about this, D-Row? If you come to watch offense, you've picked the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a homer in this one. Oh, and one. Here it comes. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Carson Kelly goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. He's set. Here it comes. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll reach first Let's as go. they can't make the play on him. Now that Perfect. In now, Luke Weaver. He's running. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. A tag for one. So won't get him. Let's go. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Aggressive base running. Love to see it. That's why we loved him with Rastro. From the belt, the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Looks like a left-hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. The 0-1 rolled slowly down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. You can put up whoever you want in the bullpen, but it's just not going to happen. And now a curveball. Up against the Wizards, he's bro. Lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on. Uh, we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? Oh, well. But Pete Alonzo got a homer. Let's not forget about that. 
with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as Starling Marte I've never seen an actual picture of Eddie Watney. I've <laughs> only uh, seen the PS4 and 5 rendering. First pitch on its way. Starling Marte will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't right outrageous. Here, hey, listen. 14. Calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one not sure the hitter would want to hear that though according to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card Duvall is a batting line residing in the 230s you know Matty I know his career batting average jumps off at the page but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways he brings value to the manager on a daily basis oh, and he struck him out as well so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now wow talk about being efficient how about six pitches two strikeouts doesn't get much better than that into the box Corey Dickerson as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one man that's seven straight strikes to start this inning he's got a chance hit high and deep out there to left center field a leap at the wall, but he can't oh. bring this one back. It's a home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. Home run number five on the year, and it's now a five to two game. Got to stop throwing changeups. Well, he won his last start, but he Poor didn't Matt give up any long it. balls. I will. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. At the plate now, Brian Anderson, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Line to the right side, but a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Marlins able to draw just a bit closer thanks to the solo home run. We played four. It's now five to two. All right. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. First offering. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. You know, you love a guy who attacks the zone, but sometimes I think you could throw too many strikes. That could be the case right here. This offense is going to the plate, just pulling the trigger on everything. And another foul ball. And he fouls this one off. This one's down to third. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. One out, base is empty, and that brings up Mike Trout. From the stretch. We're in the fifth inning here. 5 2 is our score. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in, and out. Throw the break. Oh, hang on now. This ball oh, yeah. is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Nope. Hell yeah. Mike Trout. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as they open it up to 6 to 2 now. This Hell has yeah. been quite a hitting display from both sides. That's home run number eight on the day. Matty V, I don't know what this is. 
Dero, is this bad pitching or good hitting? I think you have to credit both offenses today. They both came in with game plans. We walked around during uh, batting uh, practice. They were both super confident. Someone's getting thrown out of the game. Well, now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Or is the music once again? I don't really need to change that if so. Okay, no, it seemed to keep it. So now to the plate, Nolan Arenado. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. And he lays off for ball one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. There's a look at the final line for the Marlins starting pitcher. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Yeah, this certainly wasn't what he was anticipating when he left the warm-up mound coming into this one. Couldn't oh. get out of the fifth oh, inning and me. gave up quite a few runs in this one. So two out, nobody on. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Welcome back to Miami as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins offensive production, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time, they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts, like 0-2 and 1-2, and that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. All right, Heidi, thank you. Sorry, guy. Now a ball and a strike. Here's the one and one delivery. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Trout is right there. there. One down. That was a Good decent changeup. To start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Right side, but it's well foul. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Fouled away. Diaz is certainly a versatile middle infielder playing shortstop today despite being a second baseman naturally. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has been dubbed a second baseman, but I'll tell you what, everybody on this diamond either pitched or played shortstop in Little League. I guarantee you through the ranks he has touched shortstop multiple times, and this will not be too much for him to handle. Miguel Rojas stands in as he looks at ball one here and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for a ball and a strike now a one one line drive to left Lo Castro is there makes okay. the catch and the side is retired one two three go the Marlins they still trail here it's six to two. John Curtis takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. So now here is Pete Alonzo. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. That last at bat, that home run, that was a changeup that was away that he went out and hooked and he pulled it. So if I'm going to throw that changeup again, I might throw that thing on the inside part of the plate. This guy looks like he has pretty good coverage on that outer third of the plate. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two.
Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the Got first me. out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? Okay. He just throws this good okay. fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Now, time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. Will Smith steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. He's set and the pitch. He comes in with that average down in the 240s, seven homers, and 16 RBIs. Fouled off. Smith, a former Dodger, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Bases are empty, one man out. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. To the plate now, Tim LoCastro. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. Two out, nobody on. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Dickerson's after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Hmm. Will Smith will stay huh? in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go John Birdie and through five turns at bat they've only mustered a total of three hits not terrible but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Yeah they're definitely just not having consistent quality A.B.s. The game plan they had coming in hasn't worked and I'm interested to see if they're willing to change it up a little bit. And there's one down now. Now that Next to dig in, Garrett Cooper. He got under one and popped out his last time up, and it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This is on the ground over to first, and that is through into right field for a single. Boy, not the way you'd like to draw up an 0 2 pitch D roll, but from a hitter's perspective, a pretty good job of staying alive 0 and 2. Yeah, and he did an excellent job on the offensive side. Not to let the AB get away from him. I know he was down 0 2, but he bowled his neck and he stayed in there. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Marte has it, and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. The right fielder, number 14. at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And it's quickly 0-2. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. 
big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Adam Duvall becomes out number two this inning. Corey Dickerson stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 0. Lays off again and it's 2 0. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. 2 and 1 now. A little early and now it's even at 2 and 2. Cooper on second. Marte on at first with two down. Hit in the air down the right field line. Ball three here as that pitch runs way up and in and backs him out of the box here. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Swing and a liner. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Marlon Strand a pair. They still trail here. It's six to two. All right, all right. <clears throat> all righty, all righty, all righty, all righty, all righty, all righty, all right. Josh Van Meter is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. A one pitch on its way. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Count still at one and two. Now the pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up. Throw in time at first for out number two. Fernando Tatis Jr. We'll stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the tradition. Zach Eflin will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Brian Anderson. Fouled off. Anderson. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Now the 2 1. Down the left field line and deep. The 2 2. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. 
Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that one yanked just foul. The 3-2 one more time. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Stepping in now, Jorge Alfaro. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. No hits to this point. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, they say beggars can't be choosers. And when you're losing, you can't always choose how you get on base, but you've got to get on any way that you can. So he'll take that, even though it probably hurts a little bit. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at 1. Head to head at the start of play against Zach Eflin. He's 1 for 5. That's in there on the outer half. 1 and 2 now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. And the fastball sails on him, and that's to the backstop. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he struck him out. Jesus Aguilar will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Alfaro blows through the stop sign. Headed for home. He's and out. He's out. Beautiful he's throw. Out. He'll cut down the run. Mons Hell yeah, Mookie. One. They still trail here. It's six to two. Toast. Thought he could sneak one in there. Oh my goodness. Wow. Adam Simber has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll Great do so to work, start guys. the eighth. Mike Trout to the plate again and looking for home run number three in the ball game. His second coming back in the fifth. First pitch of the A-B now. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0-1. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee-high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw not in time. Get he beats there. it out for his third hit tonight. Now, boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, D-Row? Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, yeah. and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. Into the box now, Nolan Arenado. A swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. Birdie is there, and there's one away. Next, here is Cattell Marte. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. The second for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Way to beat it out. So now into the box is Pete Alonzo. Here's the first pitch to him. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. A wave and a miss made him reach. Woo! That was ugly. Howdy! If you're waving at me. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0 2 pitch. Marte leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone.
And now here is John Birdie, head to head at the start of play against Zach Eflin. He's three for nine. And a ball, one and oh. Two and oh. Too high. And it's three and oh. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Next, it'll be Garrett Cooper singled in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. A runner at first with no outs here. Grounded back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Matty, this is a surprising pick right there. I don't understand after blowing a fastball by him, he would speed his bat up with all speed. Yeah, redemption. They're being late right on time with the off-speed pitch next. On to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. Adam Duvall is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Head to head at the start of play against Zach Eflin. It's been pretty good. Five for 12. Two of those hits were for home runs. The 0 2 home. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do? He uses it. Pulls the string and gets the big strikeout. Corey Dickerson is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. And Dickerson behind 0 and 2 now. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. A ball and two strikes now. Marte, the runner at first with two gone. Still a ball and two strikes. I'll tell you right now, he let go of that one, and he wanted to pull it back. That was a hanger, bad spot over the heart of the plate. He's lucky. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. A run, a hit, and a man left. We've played eight full. The Wizards are out on top, six to three. At the plate now is Will Smith. Struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, Maddie, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and there's the first out here in the ninth. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Rene Martinez gets the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get a chance with two out and the bases empty. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. On oh, a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. He's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Juan Lopez comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Ooh. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. Whoops. Did not realize there was a save situation. 
first pitch on the way and he fouls this one off. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Liner towards second. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Marte backs nope. up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now batting. Isan Diaz stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Fouled away. The 0-2 delivery. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And a dive, but he comes up empty. And this is big trouble now out in right center. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Betts. And he makes the catch in the corner. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Digging in next, John Birdie. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the stretch. And that's up and in for ball one. Pitch swung on and foul tipped right off the mask. It sounded like of the home plate umpire, and that cannot feel too good, I wouldn't imagine. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. And he'll make the catch there we to go. end it as That's the, the game, folks. continue the role they've been on. Six, Seven four. straight victories now as this ball game is over. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. Las Vegas we do hosted is win, a three-run first to propel them to the win. Luke Weaver with his fourth win this season. Ross Detweiler struggled and gets the loss Let's after go, giving baby. up six earned. Yoan Lopez hammers down the save his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. And me on Twitter, at Kevin underscore from SD. <laughs> Okay, one uh, more thing before we wrap this video up, and I want to thank you for streaming, for joining with me, and for watching the Wizards baseball. Appreciate it big time. And uh, one thing I wanted to do was go to AAA and make sure our AAA coaches were good. I don't think uh, we can manage that. But. Okay, just wanted to check. All right, well, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time uh, <laughs> here in uh, Las Vegas Wizards territory. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember to follow me on Twitch. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much.